Hi, Kevin Blanche, back to the nuclear meltdown nightmare in Japan. Look, those winds have been blowing across, out across the ocean. Now, as a good derivative trader, which I was all through the 90s, still freelance, look, here's what we have to do, and we become very good at it, the ones that are successful. We have to hypothesize forward. That's my whole makeup, my whole being. That's who I am and what I am. I mean, I had to be good at it to survive. I had a family to raise, just like the rest of you, and that was what I did. Look, as we hypothesize forward, let's think about this. The wind blowing out across that ocean. The wind has been blowing for 40 miles an hour across the ocean. It's growing across the Pacific. I put up a video yesterday on the jet stream, blah, 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 but this, we are literally in uncharted territory. I mean, excuse the metaphor or the pun. We are in uncharted territory. There have been no scientific studies done via the ocean and major nuclear disasters. There is one epic event that did happen in the Pacific Ocean, the Bikini Islands. The Bikini Islands, they tested nuclear bombs. There is a wonderful movie written, I mean made, in the 80s. It's called Radio Bikini. If you get a chance, watch it. Same as they did the Nevada test open air, they were doing them in the Bikini Islands of the Pacific. But the problem is, is it was a very sparsely populated area of the Pacific, so we don't have studies on how it affected the fish markets. Mark my words, mark my words, and like I said, as an ex-derivative flag trader, we have to hypothesize for We don't have big windows to work in because we're playing against the clock. You watch the fish markets of the Pacific. That is a major fishing industry right across where that's going. You watch what's going to happen with popular opinion, and it comes with fish coming out of the Pacific. This is going to be horrific to the freaking fishing industry, which is a sad, sad commentator. People aren't stupid. You watch. So where are they going to go for their diet? You know, I guess the, the fish farms are going to... You watch that industry take off. It's a sad commentary. I want to read something out of my book, Post Ignorance, to all you children of the downwinders, all you children of the atomic veterans that were killed, friends, neighbors, cousins, widows. There's a lot of widows out there. There's 40,000 of them. This is the dedication book page to my book, Maggie and Digger. That's what everybody called my mom and dad. They still do call my mom that. You know, everybody called them that. Maggie Digger, I dedicate this book to my father, Dwayne Edward Blanche, the most incredible, kind, strong, loving man I have ever known. He looked like Elvis Presley with muscles. He had a wit like Mark Train. He had a deductive thinking mind like Freud. But most of all, he loved people. He loved children, not just his own, everyone's. He was a man who feared no one and stood his ground in the face of all uphill battles. He died with honor, real honor. He lived with passion all through his life. His brilliant life was taken by neo-ignorant fake patriots with a Freudian agenda. He lives in all of us who despise false heroes, who hate war and ignorance, and fake deniers with yellow ribbons. He, like all the atomic veterans drafted into false battle, lives in all of us. And we as sons and daughters and nephews and nieces and grandchildren and friends of any man or woman whose life has been taken, pained, and altered by the ignorant past and present have an obligation to their offspring or friends' offspring, whether it is one generation or ten generations removed, to stand and scream as loud as we can scream, this is wrong, and we are the post-ignorant few who fully intend to expose you for what you are, co-conspirators to murder. murder. Kevin Wayne Blanche, Veterans Day 2010. Look. I'm not going to give up on this because I have lived it, I have breathed it, I have felt it, you know, I have cried it. You know, I watched my father load, be loaded into the body bag. You know, it wrecked my life. It wrecked my little girl's lives. It wrecked my, you know, his niece's lives. It, it was a horrible, horrible tragedy. Look, that water is in the Pacific. The nuclear and we're seeing today there's reports coming all over asshole media pieces of shit doing dark oh we're, we're exposed already in the united states when you do this granted no shit hello it's like saying thank you mr fucking obvious it's not about the small minute traces of radiation it's the levels we are altering the levels and if you think this isn't altering the level and that's blowing across that fucking sea and if you listen to any bullshit fucking bullshit media report think about this who builds all the nuclear reactors in this fucking 
the country? General Electric. Who owns CNBC? CNBC. General Electric. Who owns NBC? General Electric. Think about the mass fucking media fucking Ponzi scheme we've created. Watch my video on the media Ponzi scheme. We have one guy who fucking runs half the media in this fucking world. They're Australian and English. Rupert Murdoch. You don't think they have an agenda? They have an agenda. Oh yeah, these, oh, we are already exposed. Please, fucking please. And to all you people in Japan, my heart fucking breaks for you, you know. And if anybody can survive and knows how to handle stuff, it's you guys. Your culture is strong. You know, we need to be fucking strong in America and vigilant in the context of the media lying to us. They have a fucking Freudian agenda with their small fucking little fucking sex. You know, fuck them. Fuck them. Like I said, I'm going to be putting up videos from the Nevada test site. I'm headed there this afternoon, out to Nevada. I got permission to take some videos, some great stuff out there. I'm going to, I'll am gonna, i be posting that video Saturday morning. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> it's March Madness. Of course you're going to Nevada. Yeah, I'm killing two birds with one stone. Listen, I will be shooting video where the old gay flew out of. I will be shooting video of some test site. I've got permission. I did everything right. I'm a good boy. I am a patriotic person, and I love the Marines. I love them. You know, I'm as Semper Fi as they got. My dad was as Semper Fi as they got to the death. To the death as a man refused morphine as he was dying. He was as Semper Fi as he'd get. So when anybody accuses me of being patriotic, they're barking up the wrong fucking tree. I'm, just, I'm a real patriot. I'm not a fake yellow ribbon denier. Kevin Blanche, stay with me. I'm going to put another video up right now about some people in Japan I know.